Okay, so the first thing, of course, is to create new project. So let's click File. I don't think you can see it, but just click File, New, and Project. In this window, you select C Sharp, Visual C Sharp, and then Windows Forms app. And I'm going to name this Data Entry Project. You select where you want to save it. We don't need a Git repository, so I'll just click OK. And it will create my Windows Forms project. So here we are presented with the blank Windows Forms. So first, for our little project, we want two sections on this form. We want a data entry section and then the timer section. So I'm going to name the form first. So I click the form and in the text over here, let me just move this closer so you can see it. I'll simply write data entry form. So that will display the caption of the form. And I will also rename the form. I'll name it FRM data entry. The FRM, of course, is the prefix for form. So that takes care of the form. And like I said, now I'm going to add two group boxes. So I'll scroll down, find a group box and drop it on the form one and two. So the first one will be for data entry. So I'll click it and again, I'll name this group box GRB for group box and data entry. And uh, the second one, I'll select that and name this one GRB timer. And I'm also going to change the text. Right now it just says group box 2. I don't want that. I want it to say timer. And on the first one, I wanted to say data entry. So the first group box will have five text boxes. So I'll make it a little bigger. I'll move this one a little over here. And uh, you can position it wherever you want. So uh, I'll have the labels first for the text boxes. So one, actually, let me just double click it. There's going to be two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to position it like this. So the first one, the text will simply say name. That's where the user will enter the name. On the second one, let's say the user will enter address. The second, I mean, the third is going to be the city, then the state, and the zip. And I can also put in the group box the text boxes that are associated with the labels. So I'll just drag those. So it's going to be text box for the name, text box for the address. For the city, for the state, and finally for the zip. And just like before, I'm gonna name them with this time with the prefix txt. So the first one will be txt name, the second one will be txt address, this one will be txt city, txt state. And finally, txt zip. And I also want two buttons. One that will actually accept all the input and one that will clear all the text boxes. So when the user enters all the information, we'll click the accept button and display the information. Or when the user makes a mistake and wants to just clear everything, the user can click a clear button that will basically clear all the text boxes. So I'll go up here and drop two buttons. Oh, that's too far, like this. One button and second button. So the first one, I'll name it BTN accept. And I'll go up here and change the text 
from button one to accept. This one, I'll change the text to clear. And of course, I will name the button txt for text box clear. All right, so that's our data entry. So now let's do the timer. Once again, I'll put everything into the group and it's going to have one text box, which is going to display the timer. So I'll scroll down, text box right here. This will actually display the time itself. And then three buttons. One that will start the timer, one that will pause the timer, and one that will exit the application. So let me just go up here. So this one will be the start timer button. This one will be the pause timer button. And this one will be down here to exit the application. So this one, I'll name this one BTN start. This one can be named BTN pause. And this one BTN exit. And of course, I want to change the text on them. So the first one will simply say start. This one will pause the timer. So I'll type pause and this one will exit the application. So exit. And that's basically our form. Um, let me just move this away a little because it's too big, but I don't need the form so big. So I'll just scale it down a little like this. So you can still see the properties of all the elements on the form. So let me just stretch this one. So it's all the same length and eh, it looks all right. Next thing I'm going to increase the length of these text boxes like that. All of them. I just selected them and then move them. All right. So now we have all the objects and elements on the form we have named in the next video. We will continue building the form by adjusting few properties and making few tweaks.